Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. I was just doing some reading this morning on the new NVIDIA RTX 3050 that'll be coming out here very soon. And I was doing a few calculations and I just wanted to share those with you really quick and give you some of my thoughts on whether I'm gonna be trying to purchase this card or not. And all of the links that I have in this video, I will put in the show notes uh, if you wanna click on any of these to get any of this information. Just a quick overview on the 3050, a quick refresh. The MSRP on the card is $249. The GPU is a GA106, 2,560 cores. The memory size is actually eight gigabytes, which makes this card a little bit more attractive to me. The core clock is 1552 megahertz, memory clock 1750 megahertz, and the memory type is GDDR6. Memory speed is 14 gigabits per second. And the out of the box TDP is 130 watts. Now let's take a look at some of the reports on the mining performance. In this article on videocards.com, we can see two different results here, which will give us an idea of some ranges that we can be thinking about. So right out of the gate, it looks like the card started around 20 mega hash. And then as LHR or the light hash rate settled in, it dropped to 12.5 mega hash at 73 watts. And the person that leaked this, it looks like they were mining to mining pool hub in an Asia stratum. And there was another report, similar results here uh, with different mining software. According to those results, the card offers 13.66 mega hash at 57 watts. So we've got a bit of a range here in the wattage, 57 watts and 73 watts. So we're somewhere in the 13 mega hash per second range. And in the nice hash blog, they pointed out that the 3050 should perform somewhere around 15 to 20 mega hash, as we saw on videocards.com, or around 23 mega hash with partial LHR unlock. So this would put us somewhere close to like a 1660 video card, not the super, around a standard 1660 video card, which originally you know you were able to get those under about 200 to 220 and now they're anywhere from 300 to 400 dollars so i mean it is comparable to other cards that people are purchasing right now so I, I do think this would be favored in some respects because you're getting the latest generation you're getting a 3000 series gpu and you're also getting eight gigabytes of memory so let's do just a couple quick calculations on what our earnings might look like with this card Taking into consideration, we might have an easier time selling it in the future because, again, it is a 3000 series video card. So I've gone over to what to mine, and I dropped in some of these settings. So we dropped in 23 mega hash, again, sort of assuming a best case scenario on F hash. And then I took a number of other hash rates based on the 1660. So not completely fair. This is not going to be completely accurate until we're able to get our hands on this card and really test all these algorithms out. And then we did a conservative 70 watts on each of the algorithms. So we're going to hit a calculate. And that brings us out to 58 cents US after electric or 75 cents US before. And you can take a look here. We've actually got some good comparisons in the event that you want to mine something else other than Ethereum. So for example, Flux is looking pretty good right around the 50 cent mark. And as we get out the calculator, let's do a quick look at the current price of Ethereum, which is just really taking a hit today. So for whenever you watch this video, make a slight adjustment for whatever the current going rate is of Ethereum. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a couple quick calculations. If this stays the same, if this gets cut in half, or if we get a double again, getting us back into the 4,000, 4,400 range, something like that. So let's pull out the calculator. Okay, so let's do uh, the calculation at today's pricing and today's rates, assuming you don't have to pay a premium and we're not gonna account for taxes. I get asked that every now and then. So the MSRP is $250 and we are going to divide that by, we'll do, 0.58 and that gets us an ROI at today's rate not assuming anything with resale value of 431 days so that's a little bit steep 
typically I don't like going over 200 days on this. So let's see if there's some other ways that we can look at this and see if this can be a little bit more palatable for us. So let's say we're at $250 MSRP and let's assume that the price of Ethereum doubles. So maybe we mine this Ethereum right here and we pick up the double. So Ethereum jumps back up above 4,400. And let's call this, just to make math simple, let's call it $1. Uh, that'll be a pretty simple calculation there. You can see we go all the way down to 250 days. So we're getting closer, making this a little bit more acceptable from an ROI standpoint. Another thing I like to do is looking at a best view, best possible outcome is to take the MSRP. So we know it's $250 and let's subtract resale value. So let's say I want to resell this in six months, a year, maybe even two years. So, so you could think anywhere along those time frames. what would this card be worth? Well, I already mentioned because it's a 3000 series, I think it's going to hold its value pretty well. Now, I can't speak to any market crashes after Ethereum goes proof of stake. You could say that a lot of video cards are going to flood the market. Uh, I, I don't know how to really calculate for that and even when that's going to happen. So adjust for that in, in your calculations here. But let's say that nothing drastic happens and I can get a reasonable resale value of this card in a year for let's let's call it hundred and fifty dollars so I'm gonna subtract hundred and fifty so we're now at one hundred dollars so let's take that and divide that by fifty eight cents per day and now this gets under that 200 day mark right so we're at 172 days which makes it a bit more interesting now let's do one more quick calculation on the positive side so let's do 250 dollars MSRP minus 150 for resale value gives us 100 and then let's give ourselves a double here or close to it so a dollar which I'm not going to divide that out, but uh, 100 divided by a dollar, that puts us at 100 days. So about, uh, yeah, just, I mean, you're looking at just over a three month ROI on a best case scenario. And, and I could even argue it might be better if your, if your resale value is even higher. If you, let's say you got $200 resale on this card. All right. So let's look at a worst case scenario real quick. So let's say I got a, a uh, purchase price of $300. Maybe I wanted to get one for testing and I paid up a little bit and I'm only able to sell it uh, for about $100. So let's subtract out $100 uh, a year from now. So now I'm at $200 and let's say the price of Ethereum halves again or flux or something that, like that. And let's say we're only getting a quarter per day. So let's divide that by 0.25. Wow, that gets us out here to 800 days. So yeah, I mean, we're looking at anywhere from a three month <laughs> mark ROI best view, probably middle of the road, somewhere in the four to 500 day range, and then a worse view around 800. So yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, probably I will get one to test it and see how it does. And if we can get that hash rate um, on Ethereum up here around 23 mega hash, if not, I'll be down here. May, I don't know, maybe just for fun, build a flux rig or something like that. But, you know, this might be a good starter rig for somebody. If it's your first rig, I always recommend these low power cards. They're really easy to manage. They're easy to work with your power supplies on. I wouldn't discard this GPU outright. It's worth at least taking a consideration of and come up with some calculations based on your thoughts and see if it falls into that into that range that you would be willing to purchase at. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it at launch. I probably will try to get one for the channel and consider possibly building a small rig out of them. Okay, that's all I had for today, guys. Just wanted to run through that thought process. Let me know what you're thinking. And if there's anything that I missed or additional comments, anything like that, put them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Back, back, back from the dead.
Yeah. 